Hello and welcome to another video in the series about changes and improvements to ChemCAD version 7.0. I want to talk today about unit ports. Those are the red and blue dots you see on unit operations that allow you to connect streams, inlet and outlet. I've got a flow sheet loaded here so you can see what I'm talking about. Uh, this stream in particular is connected to a blue inlet port. I can change it to be connected to another blue inlet port. Outlet ports here are red. And what I want to talk about is the visibility of these unit ports. As I zoom in or out, you see that these ports can become a little cluttered, especially with smaller unit operations. And you might want to have those not visible at certain times. There is a setting available to you that is user controllable under Tools, Options, Preferences, and then Miscellaneous. The minimum zoom percent for unit ports is currently set at 50%. So what that means is if my zoom level seen here at the bottom of the screen at all times in your flow sheet drops below 50, then those units will disappear. If I'm above that percent, they stay visible. So I'll cancel this so you can see it. I'll zoom out one more time. And I'm using this mouse scroll wheel to do the zooming. So that zooms in or out wherever the cursor is. And so I'll zoom out one more time. I'm below 50%. You see here I'm at 40%. Those ports disappear. Now I'll zoom to fit again so you see the entire flow sheet. And that allows you to have those ports visible or invisible, really dependent on your needs for a particular flow sheet. Another concern that you might have is printing. Well, when you send this flow sheet to print, either by clicking print or print preview, and I'll preview it here, you'll notice that those ports are not transmitted to the printer. So you don't have to worry about those red and blue dots showing up on your print. And I'll close that. And there's one final place that is of interest. Under the Edit menu, if you copy the flow sheet to the clipboard so that you can paste it into another program like Microsoft Word or some other document editor, when we copy the flow sheet to the, to the clipboard, those ports are not sent along with the graphic. So you don't have to worry again about those ports cluttering your flow sheet when it comes time to present it. So I hope you've enjoyed and learned a little bit about unit ports today and we'll see you in the next video.